Okay, this is a quick little demo video of what I've been trying to do ever since I got the Horus. Uh, this is for an APM or Pixhawk based system that has six flight modes, which you can't do in multi-rotor mode. So the model is created as a custom model. The flight modes are specified by these two switches the same way I uh, do it under OpenTX. So uh, this three position switch, only the top button is unique and the middle and bottom don't cause a difference. So if you look over there, it says it's in stabilized mode right now. If you move the switch down, acro, and it's announced. Move it again, nothing happens, it's not announced. Stabilize. So then uh, the other, these two interact, so... Uh, loiter. There's another flight mode, loiter. Auto. Auto. And for loiter. each of these positions, there's two. Altitude hold. Drift. Auto. Stabilize. So getting this to work was really unobvious to me. Uh, anyway, this model is created as a custom model with custom mixes. Uh, so if you go and look at the mixer for mixer five, this is on channel five. It's made of two parts uh, with sources for switch C and switch D. So this is the one that switched D. I had to set flight condition to all conditions on this page. On this page, you can't set flight conditions to anything or you get absolute values. I don't know why, but I did have to set weights. All five weights are set to plus and minus 100, where the defaults are zero, which means you get nothing out of it. Okay, on the next page, uh, Offsets are zero everywhere and that works. You don't have to touch this page. The next page, curve. So curve has to set be set for all the flight modes. And I also had to set it for all these C1, C2, C3, C4, C5. So they're all set to curve 30 in this case. All right. Uh, the second mix uses switch C as the source is exactly the same thing, but with a different curve. Okay, and if we go look at the uh, curves, curve 30 is the linear curve, it's the ones that she's with switch, switch D, so it just applies weights basically to uh, the values for that. And curve 31 is non-linear is for this one. So Stabilize. the first two positions, or sorry, the, the bottom two positions, which are the left there, have the same value of zero, and the upper position Stabilize. has this value of uh, 26. So that's what I wanted to do all along. Ideally, you should be able to do this in multi-rotor mode. Just specify, have if you had six flight modes keep specifiable there, and uh, fired by logical switches. Oh, there, I'll show you more stuff. So there are seven logical switches used to compute the values of the, the combinations here and their and. So switch seven just basically says if this uh, switch C is in the middle or down position, it's the same and that produces switch seven. So then the other combinations are made by combining either logical switch seven with switch D or uh, switch C up with switch D, and that's how we get the six combinations there. And then the uh, voice announcements are done through special functions on the second page. Basically, logical switch one, play track stabilize, so on and so forth. Um, it is kind of annoying because there's no way to specify a uh, time delay on this like you can in OpenTX. So if you move too slow, you get multiple things queued up Drift. Auto. and they just keep Stabilize. playing and playing and playing. So anyway, it sort of works. Not as good as I'm used to on OpenTX, but it's usable at least at this point. So there's the sample. Thanks. Bye.